Thank you, Patrick. And ahead of the storm, Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty calling for a voluntary evacuation for people living in Sabine Pass and Pleasure Island. Let's continue our coverage now with 12 News reporter Jordan James. He was there this morning during the mayor's press conference and explains why a citywide evacuation plan was not announced. Port Arthur City leaders have been closely watching Tropical Storm Beta. The latest track could bring several inches of rain to the area in an effort to protect those parts of the city that are most vulnerable. A voluntary evacuation order has been put in place for Sabine Pass and Pleasure Island. Port Arthur Emergency Management Team is projecting that Beta could bring one to four feet storm surge to those low line areas outside of the seawall. City crews, city crews are out now clearing ditches and cleaning debris to ensure that the drainage system is functioning at the storm's peak. Mayor Barty says the reason a citywide mandatory evacuation was not called is because he believes the city is capable of handling the rain expected to come with beta. We aren't making anything mandatory for you to leave. However, I believe that we all agree that that choice is yours. If you have the financial means to go somewhere at this point, you may want to make that decision. Marty also says the city or the state will not be providing free ambulance to transport evacuees since the order is not mandatory. For those of you who are in need of sand, there's plenty of sand left behind from Hurricane Laura at various locations throughout the city. Coming up at 10, I'll tell you why one woman says these evacuations are taking a toll on her mentally and physically. Reporting here from Port Arthur, Jordan James, 12 News.